There are many reasons why you might not be able to open PowerPoint on your computer. In today's video, I'm going to go through a couple of the basic kind of trouble shooting tips to see if you can find where PowerPoint may have gone on your computer and for you to be able to open it up. So to start with, let's start, do the kind of the basics, right? First of all, you can see on the desktop here that I have no shortcuts on there. They're all completely gone, right? So I'm going to have to use the search bar to find PowerPoint. PowerPoint. So the first thing we're going to do is come down to search and we're just going to go in and type PowerPoint in here and you'll be able to find it right inside here and we can give it a click and it should load up for you. So if it's just a case that you've lost all your links, maybe it's not a shortcut on your desktop or maybe it's not pinned in anywhere and you just need to open up PowerPoint, well this is the first thing to try so that you can gain access to PowerPoint presentations. Okay, so we'll assume that that didn't work. So in which case the next thing to do is actually to go into your search bar and type in task manager. From task manager here, you're going to be able to look for and shut down any PowerPoint presentations that may be stuck in their commands. Let's go ahead and bring this across to the screen here so you guys can see. So in here, I'm running a bunch of applications and we can see that there is no PowerPoint presentations in my app section here that are currently running. So I'm going to go down to background processes and we're going to just shoot through this and see if we can find anything in here that uh, is telling me that PowerPoint might be running. And you can see here that it is stuck. So I'm going to go ahead and select that button and click end task. That's going to end the PowerPoint task. I'll go ahead and close this down and we can once again go to the search bar, type in PowerPoint and click on that and see if the application will finally load. And for the most part, it has on the wrong screen, but it is now over here. I can go ahead and maximize that in. And we now have PowerPoint actively running. You can see it's also down here in my taskbar. I can go ahead and right click and pin this in. So it's always gonna be there if I need it. The other thing I can do is come in here and I can close this one down. Okay, now there is a shortcut that helps you actually um, open up PowerPoint very effectively. This is quite long-winded, but it's basically control shift windows alt p and if you do that it's going to open up the powerpoint presentation or powerpoint application for you now in this particular case you can see that there's still an issue an underlying issue with powerpoint not opening up on my computer here so again i'm going to go over i'm going to go to search i'm going to find task manager which will be on my most recently searched for applications and um, you can see that it's not open as an application on here but if i do scroll down you can see that it's probably going to find itself that is stuck back in this background process right inside here. And I can go ahead and end that task. Okay, that's going to basically remove it. I'll close this down. Now, if I go Control Shift, Windows Alt and P, it should open up the PowerPoint presentation, which it has just on the incorrect monitor. So let me pull that back across here. And you can see that's a nice shortcut to be able to open it. So the first thing that you need to do is check to see whether or not it's just a case that you're missing um, a bunch of kind of shortcuts and uh, to make sure that it, you can actually still find it. Because if you cannot find the application in your search bar by typing in PowerPoint, for example, example, then chances are it's not actually installed on your computer, so you will need to go and install it. But if you can find it and it won't run, chances are there's actually a background um, application running that's actually preventing it from opening, in which case you would have to go into your task manager and end that task. Once you do that, you can quite easily search for it, open it up, or alternatively hit Control, Shift, Windows, Alt, and P, and you'll be into PowerPoint in no time.